notorious for naming their children 25 letter names that they're never going to get even pronounced right, let alone spelled right. Like, why would you do that? Over there. Do you know why they actually do that? The reason no. for that is, is because it? during slavery, their, their identities were taken away. So they had to have unique names in order to identify their offspring when they were sold from different plantations. So that came down generationally as generational trauma. Okay, well, how about now? Isn't that sort of trauma for that poor kid that's never going to have his name only, spelled right? Only to your standards. I'm like, like what is? Wife. If I were that child, I wouldn't want my name misspelled all the way through or mispronounced by people. Well, that's because all people life. can't take the time to pronounce it correctly. Whatever. You can say the supercalifragilistic is... espialidocious, but you can't say Jaquan. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever the result is, the poor child does not have his name pronounced correctly or spelled correctly because people do not take the time. You can okay, take the extra the... two seconds to do it, but instead you're sitting here making fun of a whole culture of people for things that they didn't have have uh, a choice on. Do you have a name that gets misspelled a lot? I sure don't. Well, because my mom whitewashed my name. So that's right. I always found it interesting that you have non-blacks you know, defending black culture and black talking points. Now, you can't see the other young lady talking, but clearly she's not a person of African-American descent. Now, a lot of y'all is not going to like this, but let me just be real. What the lady is saying is she's absolutely right. Now, it probably shouldn't be coming from her. You know, most people may think that, you know, it's kind of racial remarks coming from a Caucasian woman. But you got a lot of black people who say the same thing. Shoot, I'm one of them. I, I just was having a conversation like maybe like a week or two ago about this very same thing, about these awkward names that you got a lot of black females calling their children. Because it's not really the guys doing it. it it's really... The, the females and the young lady talking about uh, emotional trauma. I don't think naming your son Daquan or your daughter Denim Dior, I don't think that has anything to do with trauma. <laughs> if anything, I, I just think that it's just ignorance and, and, and not really thinking straight because think about that child. Like, think about when that child get older, him or her when they get older, and think about when they start trying to look for jobs. It's a known fact that naming your son or your daughter Aquanisha, Tanisha, Darnell, Deontay, Devante, majority of people know those are black names. So when people be feeling like, all right, well, I'm not getting ahead because I'm black, when people would try to use that rhetoric, all right, well, think about that when you start naming your children. Because if that's the case, then start naming your children some pretty decent names. And that don't mean that you got to name them Tom or Andy or Amy. But you, you can name them like a general nice name, like James. <laughs> like, like James is a, a universal name. Uh, Anthony, Tony, things of that nature. But... A lot of people, they, they, they try to be unique because that's what it's all about. They're trying to be unique and try to be different, not really thinking the consequences in the future. So the lady does have a point about that. And like I said, a lot of y'all going to be mad about it, but it is what it is. I'm starting to be at the point where I'm not just identifying with color or skin or culture, but now I identify with logic and common sense and forget all the ignorance. Because a lot of times in black culture, ignorance is celebrated. And I'm not a person to tolerate that. So you can call me a sellout, call me Uncle Tom, weirdo, whatever it is. It's cool with me because I don't want to be a part of that anyway. But she's absolutely right. But until then, I'll holler at y'all the next one. Peace.